Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Becker, and I am a facial plastic and reconstructive surgeon, a rhinoplasty specialist, and this is my video blog. A very common question that I get over the internet is, Dr. Becker, what's the difference between an open and a closed rhinoplasty, and how do you decide which one to do? A closed rhinoplasty uh, refers to uh, a rhinoplasty where all the incisions are hidden on the inside of the nose, so there are no visible incisions. An open rhinoplasty uh, is one in which all the incisions are on the inside except for one tiny incision on the outside of the nose, on the skin between your nostrils, on the columella. I say it's tiny. Really, it's about four millimeters long. It's about a tenth of an inch long. I think that's small, but uh, to some that can be very daunting. I wouldn't necessarily want an incision on the outside of my nose unless there was a reason. Well, I can tell you that that incision heals very beautifully and is very difficult to notice. And the decision to proceed with an open or closed rhinoplasty is one that I make together with the patient. I was trained in both open and closed rhinoplasty, and I continue to do both. Um, the decision uh, to do one or the other is based on technical factors. It depends on what's wrong with your nose and what needs to be done. There are certain things in rhinoplasty uh, that, quite frankly, are probably better done uh, through an open rhinoplasty approach. And there are some things in rhinoplasty that make sense to do through a closed rhinoplasty approach. Of course, there's some overlap where uh, there'd be an honest disagreement between surgeons where some would tend to do it uh, open and some would tend to take care of that problem closed. Um, but in general, uh, the technical factors will guide the decision. So to answer the question whether or not I would do your rhinoplasty open or closed, of course I would need to see your nose and examine you and then discuss the technical factors and tell you why I think one approach or the other might be better. I've written a chapter on this subject and you can find it on deta in detail on my website, therhinoplastycenter.com. Uh, so if you want to learn more, uh, please feel free to visit the website read that chapter, which is a published textbook chapter, and also explore the website and uh, just learn more about rhinoplasty. Um, after you've done so, please feel free to send me an email uh, with any questions that you have. Include photos if you'd like, and I'd be happy to respond. Uh, good luck, and I look forward to hearing from you.